Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. In this video, we're going to be covering the mesh modeling tool, Extrude. Now the Extrude tool can be accessed in two ways. Either you can select a face and hit the hotkey E, which will allow you to extrude a new face, or you can activate the tool over on the left-hand side for Extrude. Now Extrude, if you click and hold, actually has a couple of options here. We've got four options. And we will be looking at all of these options before the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now an extrusion is essentially an extension of the face that's selected. So if we have the tool active, uh, what you'll notice is we have a little gizmo here with a plus button. And this plus button, if we click it, will create a new face and then we can move the face in the correct direction. Once we've moved it, we also get access to an arrow. Now this arrow allows us to reposition uh, where we want the face to go. And so if we click and drag, we can reposition it uh, as we need. And then if we're happy with that, we can also hit the plus button and extrude a new section. Now the extrude region is kind of cool uh, because it also allows us to do things like this. So if we take all three of these faces here and we wanted to extrude them all, uh, which actually, let's not do that. Let's just take these two. If we wanted to extrude them as a region, what we could do is select them both and then hit the plus button. And what will happen is these faces get extruded together. So now if I were to scale this face up, it also affects this face. But you can see that it's created these faces in a way that they are conjoined together and have created ourselves this little uh, pointed corner. All right, that is extrude region. Now if we click over here and hold on, we also have uh, one for extruding individual. Now let's do the same thing on the other side here. We'll grab both of these. And we don't get a gizmo this time because it's not actually extruding it in a particular direction. It's actually going to extrude them on their own. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click and drag to activate the new extrude tool. And we can then change the offset of that uh, for each individual face that we've extruded uh, in the operator panel. Okay, so that's pretty much the difference. Uh, extrude region will keep them together. Extrude individual will pull off individual pieces. Now, if we do this for, let's say, right here, right? Even though they're going the exact same direction, we still don't get one. Uh, we click and drag and we move it. And then let's say we select the top face. We can then move this top face and you'll see that each region or each face that we created is now has its own uh, additional faces attached to that. Whereas if we were to hide this, we would see that the next face was simply the face on the other side. So that's really the difference between extrude region and extrude individual. Now let's talk about the last two or the two new versions of extrude. Now we have the option to both extrude along normals and extrude toward the cursor. So let's take a look at extrude along normals um, and we'll see how this kind of differs. So before when we extruded along the region, uh, what we did was we created a face that uh, they both kind of went off at a 45 degree angle and they stayed connected. I'll bring that face back. But extrude along normals will do something similar, but instead of pulling off a at a 45 degree angle and extruding the both as a region, it's actually going to extrude both faces uh, in the direction of their normal for the correct amount of uh, distance. Now, what is a normal? Well, a normal, as I've said in the previous video, was the direction a face is pointing. And you can see this if you go up to overlays, come down to the bottom where it says normals, and then choose face normals. And we'll just increase this so you can see. Now these blue lines don't actually exist, they're just a representation of the direction that that face is pointing. And so you can see your normals here, and uh, now that we are, or we can see our normals, let's go ahead and click and drag and extrude up. Now what you'll see is these faces are now extruding in their direction of the normal, but it's not actually creating the face evenly. So what we can do is down in the operator panel, we can click even offset, or offset even rather, and it will now generate the face in the direction that it was originally pointing an even amount. So that way, uh, even though they're both still connected and we cannot move one away from the other, now they've simply scaled the face to still point in the original direction that it was. 
So that's a pretty cool tool. Um, I like this a lot more. I'm glad this is now a thing because it allows us to do things like this, where I can select faces all the way around. And even though they're pointing in different directions, we can now extrude by clicking and dragging. I can hit offset even, and now we get an even extrusion. And you can just change the, uh, the distance there. It's a pretty cool tool, uh, whereas before we would have to use a different tool, uh, the shrink and fatten, and we'll still use that tool. We'll cover it in a future video. But this is a pretty neat thing, um, especially let's just, if we were to go here, let's just delete this and re-add a cube with Shift A. We'll come in and add a cube in here and just grab all of these around the face. And now with extrude normal, we can just extrude out the outer piece here. And let's just delete these faces. And so now we've got ourselves kind of a little campfire area and it wasn't too hard uh, to do that. So I think that's pretty cool. We can just fill these back in and we're good to go. So now doing that little bit of work, we now have uh, kind of a, a nut or a, a campfire face. And I think that's a really cool tool. Uh, now continuing on with that, let's take a look at extrude to cursor. Now extrude to cursor is a pretty cool thing. Um, I am just not a fan, and you'll see why I'm not a fan if you just paid attention to that. So if we grab a face, so let's just grab face select, and then we'll look at it from the front and say maybe I want the face to extrude over here. Well, I'll select my extrude to cursor, and I'll come over here and I'll hit extrude. And that's great because it's built the, uh, the face to the exact size that I need it to go. But if I then clicked over here, it's now extruded to face, all the way over here and kind of cut through our mesh, which is not really something that I want. Uh, and it can get a little annoying, especially since that tool is active, but it can be pretty useful uh, if you were just trying to grab everything and select orthographically. Now to each their own, some people may enjoy using that. I'm not a huge fan, uh, but that is the fourth option of extrude. And uh, you can toggle the extrude key the default extrude key rather, um, by hitting just the E key on your keyboard and it will allow you to extrude from there. Now if you forget these or you forget that you can click and hold and then choose one of these options, you can also bring up the spacebar menu and the spacebar menu has these other sections here. If you hold over this uh, in the extrude region, click and uh, hold then you'll get these other options too, and you can see their hotkeys. So if you wanted to extrude to cursor, you could simply hit Shift 2, and it would then toggle that tool to be turned on, and then just click, and you will extrude the way you need to. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.